How's it going everyone? Jay here with LMR.com. In today's video, we'll be covering the installation of SVE's aluminum radiator, covering all 2011 to 2014 Mustangs. SV is known for their superior bolt-on parts for your S197 Mustang. In stock form, your Mustang was equipped with a very thin radiator that utilized plastic intakes. After years of heat cycles and track day abuse, these intakes tend to crack, causing coolant leaks. To eliminate these issues, SVE has designed a 100% aluminum radiator that improves heat dissipation to increase efficiency, ultimately keeping your engine temperatures in check on and off the track. This SVE radiator is a direct bolt-on that will install quickly and efficiently to replace any clogged, leaking, or damaged radiators. SVE's aluminum radiator features a triple core cross-flow design that improves the coolant flow compared to your factory radiator. The three-row design and all-aluminum tanks increase coolant capacity to ensure your S197 is running cool at all times. High-efficiency air fins allow maximum airflow in any driving condition. This SVE radiator will also feature factory-correct inlet and outlet sizing to make this one a perfect choice for your S197 Mustang. This radiator will come with eight speed clips and two new bolts for the lower AC condenser bracket. Also, a plastic drain plug with a rubber O-ring is included for easy servicing. For this install, we will show you the step-by-step -step procedures for installing this part on a 2013 GT Mustang. For any parts used or associated with this video, please check out the links in the description below. First, you will need to remove the stock radiator from the vehicle. Make sure you check out the link in the description below for a step-by-step -step guide on how this is done. Just as a reminder, it will be in your best interest to have the vehicle on a lift or Jackson Jack stands. First, lay the radiator on a clean work surface and start by installing the supplied speed clips. There will be six of these on the forward facing side and two on the rearward side. Make sure these are entirely seated and centered on the tabs. The two center tabs on the front of the radiator will be intended for the transmission cooler. Since we are working on a manual, these will not be highlighted within this video. If equipped, the transmission cooler will be held in place by two factory 10 millimeter bolts. Go ahead and take this time to transfer over your lower radiator hose from the stock radiator. Next, make sure the lower isolators are securely set into the frame rail. Set the radiator in place and align the lower isolators to the mounting studs from the new radiator. Align both of the upper 10 mm AC condenser bolts and thread these into place. Reinstall the lower hose to the thermostat housing. Due to the increased size of the SVE radiator, I chose to remove the upper hose from the engine. This hose simply comes off by removing the clip and pulling it away from the T-connector located by the water pump area in the engine bay. Now that this is out of the way, we can set the fan back in place. Slide the lower tabs into the provisions on the radiator and then thread in both of the factory 10 mm bolts. Reconnect the electrical connector for the fan at this time. Reinstall both of the upper mounts with the two 10 mm bolts on each side. Reinstall the upper hose starting with the engine side first. Ensure the clip fully seats on the T-connector, then install the radiator side with the factory clamp. Reinstall the degas bottle. This one is also held in place with two 10 mm bolts. Reinstall the overflow hose from the degas bottle to the radiator. Reinstall the radiator cover at this time. Reinstall the factory air box or cold air assembly. This will include the 10 mm bolt on the fender, the mass air connection, the sound tube, PCB connection, and the clamp at the throttle body. Heading back under the car, at this time, you will need to remove both of your lower AC condenser bolts. These will be held in place by two 10 mm nuts. You can use a four mm socket to get this out of place. Install both of the provided eight mm bolts for the lower AC condenser bracket. Take this time to double check that the petcock drain is tight to prevent any leaks. Now install the lower radiator air deflector. This will include both of the 7mm bolts on the inner fender area, 6 8mm bolts on the front edge, and the additional 11 7mm bolts on the panel. Get the vehicle on level ground and then fill your degas bottle up. Reconnect the negative battery terminal. Start the car and periodically check coolant levels and fill accordingly until all air is fully purged from the system. 
Verify the thermostat opens, double check for any leaks, and top off your coolant if need be. Alright everyone, we hope this video has helped you have a better understanding of how to install your new SVU radiator on your S197 Mustang. Overall, this one should take you roughly about two hours to complete. If you like this video, make sure to give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel if you have not already, and turn on notifications to keep you up to date with any new tech info we release. As you already know, keep it here with the real Mustang enthusiasts at LMR.com.